Hi, this is Daniel and today I'm going to show you how you can add slow motion or speed ramp into your videos in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so let's say that this is our video we would like to add slow motion to. So first thing we need to do is select this video track and then I will click on Ctrl plus R. As you can see, the blue triangles appeared over this video track, what means we just opened the speed control. Now, for example, I can slow down all this video track by just clicking down this arrow and then click on change speed and for example let's say change speed to 75% as you can see all of the video track became longer and it is now at the 0.75 speed okay but let's say that we don't want to slow down full video but only part of it so firstly we need to choose the starting point of the slow motion in my case, let's say it's going to be this one. So I will put my cursor into this time and then I will click on this arrow and click on add speed point. As you can see, new speed point was added and now I can separately change the speeds between those two parts. Okay, but let's say that at the end of the video, I want to have once again normal speed. So I will select this video part as the ending part of the slow motion and I will once again click on this arrow to the bottom and add speed point. So now we got three separate sections of the speed. I can, for example, choose that the middle part will be at the 50% and voila. This is how I just added the slow motion into my video. Okay, but as you can see, when I will play it once again, it's quite a choppy image because the FPS and the final result are not optimal that is less than 25 fps what means that's not optimal to see it as an affluent picture for the human eye for this i want to go towards the inspector i will scroll down i will go to red team and scaling and i will change the red team process to the optical flow thanks this even though at the final video there are less frames per second as we would like to have what is in our case the 29 the picture still looks quite good so in case you have not enough fps you can change the red team and scaling to optimal flow and thanks to this you will improve the quality of your final slow motion video okay so now as you could see we got 100 percent speed at the beginning and at the end and the middle part is at the 50 percent but let's say that i don't want to have like these big jumps of the speed but I would like to speed ramp it a little bit that it will go like jump towards the 50% and then we will slowly rise towards those 100% at the end. For this, I will right click on my video track and I will open the red team curve. Here we can see the line of the speed. So here at the start, it says 100%. Here at the end, it says 100% once again and the middle part says 50%. So now, for example, in case I would simply drag this end part to the top, as you can see, we would increase the speed of the clip and this part of the clip would actually become shorter and shorter and shorter. As we would pull this down, it would become longer and longer and longer. And for example, now we are already at the 22% of the speed. So in the end, it would look something like this. Okay, but as we want to keep it on the 100%, I will keep it like this. And as I said, we want to add speed ramp. That means that we will continuously rise from, for example, let's say 40% speed to those 100. For this, I will select this right point and I will click on this icon. Now, as you can see, those two lines appeared from the side to side. And this curve is no longer the simple jump, as we can see at the left side, but it actually rises softly from 40% to 100%. And in case I would like to make it more smooth and for the longer period, I can simply drag those side edges towards the side and I can even move this point more towards the left. Okay, so now we got the bottom speed at the 40%, top of the 100 and as you can see, we are continuously rising. So when I will play the video, 40% and then we are continuously going back into the 100 okay ladies and gentlemen so this is how you can easily add slow motion and speed ramp into your videos in DaVinci Resolve that's all for this short tutorial video really hope you found it what you were looking for hope you are good and video fine thanks for watching and all of the support and see you all next time